At Farms.com Risk Management, we understand that commodity price risk management and sound financial advice are essential in today's volatile crop and swine sectors. Visit our website at www.riskmanagement.farms.com. Welcome to the Farms.com Weekly Crop Report for May 27, 2011. This is Michelle Lamarant, Commodity Research Analyst for Farms.com Risk Management. The long drought in Europe, the worst in a century, is causing irreversible damage to wheat crops in some of the largest producing countries including France, Germany and the UK. Some are estimating a 20% reduction in crops in the UK and as much as 7% in France and 12% in Germany. This continues to underpin Chicago wheat futures this week. According to a French-based farm advisor, French wheat sellers are not committing supplies as the drought has made production uncertain. The drought-stricken areas are, are not forecast to receive a significant amount of rain for the next 6 to 10 days. Cooler, what conditions are necessary to prevent any further reduction of yields caused by the current conditions? In other news, the USDA released a new crop progress report on Monday, May 23rd. According to the report, as of May 22nd, U.S. corn is now 79% planted versus 63% last week, 92% last year, and the five-year average of 87%. This was above expectations of 80% complete. U.S. soybeans were reported at 41% planted as of May 22nd, compared to 22% planted last week, 51% last year, and the five-year average of 51%. This is slightly above the average analyst estimate of 40% planted. U.S. winter wheat conditions for the week ending May 22nd were reported as 32% good to excellent, unchanged from last week, and 34% below those ratings of 2010. 45% of U.S. winter wheat was rated very poor to poor versus 44% last week and 9% last year. 23% of winter wheat was rated fair, down 1% from last year and versus 25% last year. And lastly, according to the USDA, U.S. spring wheat is now 54% planted versus 36% last week, 89% last year and the five-year average of 89%. That's all for today. Have a great weekend.